hello welcome to this one now in this quick video we'll be showing you how you can deploy um, a node.js application successfully on heroku account for free okay so um first of all you need to have an account on heroku that uh, is the first thing you need to do so um, now after creating the application what we need to do is now inside our project folder the node.js project folder that we are working on we need to make sure we have the git and npm and the node installed successfully okay so open the terminal or maybe if you are using the hyper terminal that is also cool and make sure you cd into the application project The application project i'll be using for this illustration is my egs block application so i've already seeded into that okay now once we are in that let's confirm um git npm and node successfully installed so i'll type in git dash dash version to install um to verify if i have git um successfully installed over there now as the version confirms itself here I have git version 2.32.0 so that means I have git installed I'll do same for npm dash dash version right the version shows then the last one is node dash dash version ah I got the spelling wrong let me do that again version all right so as i have successfully i have successfully verified <coughs> the installation of these three um uh, features or package managers and stuff okay so we move to the next thing which is um we install the huruku okay the huruku um in our terminal so i would leave this this command in the video description box you can Check it out and install the Heroku in the command line. Okay, I've already done the installation, so I'm not going to do that again. Now, the next thing we have to do is to make sure we have a proc file in our project folder. Okay, and the proc file should have web npm and stats. Okay, so we should have this here start web mp npm and start so let's go to our project folder then what you can do is inside you create a new file inside the project folder you create a new file then you call it proc file now i'm going to do that with my terminal so i'll go into my terminal I'll type touch proc file okay now once i do that it creates the proc file um, file for me here so i'll visit that then i'll type here web colon npm start this is very important okay after that make sure you save that if you don't have auto saved on the next thing we have to do once we have the proc file folder in the application um is to make sure we we verify the the port the e um, env port for um horuku in our server.js okay or app.js or index.js wherever your um application is starting from you need to verify this one the process.env.port in there okay so let's visit visit our code inside my app.js because this is my starting application okay now what i did was i have a constant variable here called port then i've set port equals the process.env port or 3000 locally okay so this can um listen if i listen the port here it can listen on my local port 3000 or the heroku port that will be assigned to this one okay so make sure you do this as well it's very very important the next thing we do once we have specified the port is to log in into our Heroku account in the terminal. Okay, so let's go to the terminal. Now, because we've installed the Heroku with this command here, which is the um, brew tab Heroku brew and brew install. Now we can log into that. Now, if you've not installed the Heroku, you cannot log in. 
okay so inside the terminal let's log in by but before i log into the terminal i make sure i'm already logged in on heroku in my web browser okay so once i have that i'll type heroku log in here then it will direct me to the browser to confirm the login so i'll patiently wait for the network to finish processing everything all right so it says press any key to open up um, the browser to log in or Q to exit okay so i'll hit enter or any other key and it's going to redirect me um, in to my my default browser so make sure you log in to your into your heroku account using your default browser okay so once i'm here i'll click log in and i'll be successfully logged in because i've already logged in here okay so it's not going to ask me for any other credentials so you say you can close this page and return to your command line all right now it says logged in as my my account here okay now once i've successfully logged into my account what i need to do is to initialize my git add the files and commit okay so let's do that you do get in it to initialize okay now once you do that you do um get add or to i mean add all the files okay then you do get commit your message then this message i'll say um first commit to heroku Okay, then i'll hit enter so it commits all my my files here all right now once i have committed to all these files then um, i'll go ahead and do the heroku create to create my application because i'm logged into my um i'm logged into my heroku account in the terminal okay now before i do this i need to when you check the package.json here okay under this script here i need to tell um i need to tell the 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 server or the engine wh which file it should start with okay and as we see here my main file here is the app.js okay so what i'll do is um over here I'll, I'll into the quotation mark i'll type start and i'll bring my colon okay then another quotation mark then i'll say app.js then i'll bring a comma here and i'll save this okay this means that it's going to start um the script from this file okay let's verify that to see if that was um very correct so i'll go to another project that i deployed successfully then i'll check the package package.json okay so here um okay okay i get it okay so what i'll do is i'll open that application um i've not committed that changes to hold on Okay, then I'll open the package.json. I've not committed those changes to my GitHub, so it didn't show up. Okay, I just want to verify if the start script is okay. All right, so that's correct, but we missed this one. Okay, so it's always good to verify. We missed the node. Okay, so let's go back. Then it says start is node app.js. Okay, so make sure you have this in your in your package.json json else is not going to work all right now once we have that then we can go ahead and do the heroku create so let's open let's open the terminal do heroku create okay so it will go ahead and create the application for us here so we have it here the cam cove okay i have it here 
now after creating then we can do the git push heroku main so we do git push heroku main then we hit enter then it's it's it will push our files to our heroku main branch and it's going to host it successfully okay so this is how you can um <coughs> you can successfully host your node.js application on your heroku account and for now this is free okay for now as at the time of recording this video it's free to do this and that's so cool okay so once you do this you have to i mean give it some time okay give it f about five to seven or eight minutes for the service to set up your application and you can revisit you can visit the application and check it out all right so when we go ahead and open our uh, application we have some issues here okay and it's good to be having these issues because it will make us learn and deploying on heroku can, can sometimes be um this hectic okay now this error that we have here we are going to solve it right away okay now how do we do that first of all in our project okay we have to do the npm in it all right to initialize this um to initialize the npm all right so let's do the npm in it now you have to be doing this especially if maybe you forked a project from someone that you are working on or maybe you clone the project from github or forked from someone you need to do the npm in it okay so i'll do the npm in it then um i'll go through the details version 1.1 description i'll leave it blank then now it gets the git repository okay very important now because in the previous one we did not do the um the npm in it it didn't get the git repository okay so let's let's um hit enter here also keywords leave it blank Alter you can put your name okay i'll put my name here the license just hit enter okay then now it's it's um populate the details for you to confirm and this is what i've i've, I've i was looking for okay then is this okay yes for why or just hit okay and now we've successfully initialized our npm okay now once we've initialized our npm then um also we need to remember we added this code here okay you see this code we added but the problem is we committed here remember you have to understand this okay we committed up here see this is the commit code okay so we committed up here okay before we made these changes okay so this changes um this change that we made in the package.json file was not committed okay so what do we do let's commit again let's add the files again get add or then get commit uh message then i can say maybe the package json file has been updated okay now hit enter all right so you can see i have some changes in there all right then now we do the git we've already done the hero create so we are not going to do that again all right so we do the git push heroku main and hit enter all right so it's going to i mean um recreate this to our already existing application and it should work this time around okay okay so that's it we are done with the um with the update okay so now it's going to pick this 
um, node app.js as the as the starting file okay and we've also committed it successfully we've added some um, npm initialization as well okay so now let's go ahead reload and open the app again it should work it should work there, sh there, there shouldn't be any um, problem now okay so let's go ahead open and let's see what we get okay so we've successfully deployed um, our application on Heroku now I'll be coming up with another video another video to explain very well you know this one I missed I missed um, certain steps and I had to go back but I'm, I'm very sure you understood what I did okay what I did was very simple. First of all, I did not do the npm initialization, okay, which you should do even before um, adding and committing, okay. And also, I made changes that I did not commit, okay. So that was why it was I made mean, messing up over there. So that's it. That's it for this one. If you have any questions, leave it in the video comment section, and have a wonderful day.